exercise we're about to demonstrate is a dumbbell press on a flat bench. Freddie's going to hand the weight to Pablo right now. When Pablo's ready, he'll slowly lower himself towards the bench, keeping his back flat on the bench, glutes always maintaining contact on the bench, feet slightly apart, always contact on the floor, and then he'll start performing the exercise. Slowly pressing up, slightly tapping at the top, or coming within one inch of tapping the dumbbells and bringing him right back down. As you can see, Freddy's spotting him right now with his hands at his wrist. When performing the exercise, very important to do it in a slow and controlled motion, about three seconds on the way up, three seconds on the way back down. Exhaling as he presses and inhaling on the way back down. Now, if he were to begin to struggle, Freddy is there as a spotter and can guide him to the extension and bring him right back down. When he's done with the exercise, you can slowly place the weight by his side on the floor. This is an excellent exercise for the pectorals, primarily the upper pectorals. It places secondary emphasis on the anterior deltoids, the tricep, and also the serratus. Pablo right now is going to demonstrate the exercise. We have Freddy who's going to be spotting him. Freddy's going to hand him the weights. Pablo's going to place it on his thigh. Now if the weight is heavy enough, you can use your legs to kick the weight up as Pablo's demonstrating. Place the weights at about your shoulder and slowly press up. Coming within one inch of each other or lightly tapping and bringing the weight right back down. About three seconds on the way down, three seconds on the way up, exhaling on the way up and inhaling on the way back down. As you can see, the spotter keeps his hands at the wrist of the person performing the exercise. Now if the individual starts to struggle, the spotter can always be there to help him out, guide him through the range of motion. And once you finish with the exercise, bring the weight down to your side and place it on the floor. This is an excellent exercise to isolate the pectoralis major. Right now, Freddy's handing Pablo the weight. Pablo's placing it on his thigh. Pablo's gonna slowly lower his back towards the bench. His glutes should always maintain contact with the bench, feet always spread apart on the floor. And now he's gonna press up to get into position. Slowly rotate his hands so his palms are facing each other. Keep his elbow slightly bent as he lowers the weight to about shoulder level and bring it right back up to the starting position. Three seconds on the way down three seconds on the way back up. Inhaling as he's lowering it. Exhaling as he's going back up. As you can see, the spotter is keeping his hands close to the individual's wrist. Now, if the person performing the exercise starts to struggle and this becomes a press, that's the incorrect way to do it. The exercise is not being performed correctly. Most of the emphasis is not on the pectoralis major anymore. That's the wrong way to do it. Freddy over here is gonna be the spotter. He's gonna hand the weights to Pablo. Pablo's gonna place the weights at his thighs. Now, if needed, Pablo can kick the weight up with his legs to bring it up to the starting position. Slowly lower his back towards the bench, keeping his back firmly against the bench and his glutes always in contact with the bench. Feet slightly apart for stability. And slowly he's gonna press up the weight. 
turns his, turn his wrist at the top so palms are facing each other. Arms slightly bent as he lowers the weight down. Elbows should come to about shoulder height and then bring the weight right back up with his arms slightly bent. Three seconds on the way down, about three seconds on the way up. At the top, weight should be about an inch apart. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way back down. As you can see, the spotter has his hands by his wrist. If Pablo were to start struggling, then Freddy can easily spot him. Now, if the exercise starts to become oppressed, what Pablo's about to demonstrate. Then it's no longer a fly, so it's not being done correctly. Once he's done with the exercise, you can bring the weight to about his waist and slowly place it on the floor. Pablo's not gonna demonstrate a variation to the dumbbell flat bench press. This is a isolateral or single arm alternating press. He's gonna start with his right arm, pressing up, keeping the other weight by his side at his shoulder. This is an excellent exercise to isolate one side at a time. Again, the emphasis on this exercise is the pectorals. Very important to do it in a slow and controlled motion, about three seconds on the way up, three seconds on the way back down. Exhaling as you press, inhaling on the way back down. As you can see, the spotter keeps his hands by the individual's wrist. The reason why the spotter holds the person's wrist and not the elbow is because if you spot the person at the elbows, if the person starts to struggle, the weight will tend to go towards the individual and can easily fall on the person's chest or head. If you're holding at the wrist, you can easily, if you see that the weight is falling towards the individual, throw the weight out to the side. This exercise is a variation to the inclined dumbbell press. Pablo's about to perform it single-handed or isolateral. This is an excellent exercise for the upper part of the pectoralis major. And it isolates one side at a time. Very important to perform the exercise in a slow and controlled motion. About three seconds on the way down, three seconds on the way up. Exhaling as he presses the weight, inhaling on the way back down. Now if Pablo were to start struggling, Freddy's right there to support him on the way back up. Helping him out, pushing through, holding his wrist. Very important to hold at the wrist because if you hold at the elbows, which some people tend to do, it can be dangerous because the weight will tend to fall towards the individual since you're pressing up. Now if we demonstrate the same technique with him struggling and the weight falling towards him with Freddie holding his wrist, you can see how easily Freddie can throw the weights out to the side. Right now, Pablo's in the starting position. He's sitting up on the bench. He's gonna slowly lower his back towards the bench. Lay flat on the bench, glutes always in contact with the bench, feet slightly apart, back always against the bench. The dumbbell's here on the floor. Freddy's a spotter. He's gonna hand the dumbbell to Pablo. 
Pablo is going to grip it with his palms facing upwards. His thumb and his forefingers are going to encircle the upper part of the dumbbell, making sure he has a good grasp on the dumbbell. Freddie's going to slowly guide him until he comes to about mid chest. And then Pablo will signal that he's ready and start performing the exercise. He's going to slowly lower the dumbbell with his elbow slightly bent to about right there and bring it right back to the starting position. Inhaling deeply as he brings it back down and exhaling as he's bringing or pulling the weight back to about mid chest. About three seconds on the way back down and three seconds when he reaches the top. Inhaling and exhaling as he's pulling over. Now if the spotter starts seeing signs of Pablo struggling, the spotter can stay with him with his following through. Once Pablo signals that he's done, he can let the spotter know and when he reaches the lower position, the spotter can grab the weight and slowly place it on the floor.